me and Dee Martin, and I'm here at French Boutique with Lauren of Her Poppy. Hi. Thank you so much, Lauren, for joining us today. I am so excited to share with the audience all of the benefits of Her Poppy and its story. So, Lauren, tell us how you got started and all about Her Poppy. Yes, um, I founded Her Poppy in 2019, um, and it really came from my own with painful period cramps and just not wanting to feel crappy or shitty, don't know if you can curse out here, during my period. And I had adopted, a, went on my own wellness journey and um, adopted more of a natural clean lifestyle. And this was after losing my dad's pancreatic cancer when I was 26. And I started looking into how essential oils could help me have a better experience with my period um, instead of the ibuprofen 800s that I was being prescribed and taking every month. And I formulated her poppy and have been taking the ibuprofen in three and a half years. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank That's you. fantastic. So tell us a little bit about it. So you have to refresh her body. I have purchased all of this too. Yeah, so you can spray this on all the special parts that might get sweaty when you're out and about here in the summer heat. Right? And then you have her poppy, the oil that you can actually rub on your abdomen when you're going through your period cramps and things like that. Now, did I miss any product features, Lori? Thanks. So, the, you did a great job. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm now our <laughs> The topical oil really dress, addresses a lot of the challenges that most women deal with during PMS and their period, which is cramping, bloating, and mood streaks. So those are things that I was going through um, and, and still go through to this day to an, an extent and extreme. And so it's a topical solution for the cramping and bloating. You can apply it to your abdomen and your lower back area. For the mood support, it's a very delicious, light, florally smell, um, I apply it to my neck and my chest area. Most women do experience relief in about 20 minutes. Um, and the refresher mist was formulated after doing a lot of interviews and talking to some of our customers. A lot of women have concerns about not feeling fresh on their period. So I formulated it for armpits, under boob, and panties. So you can do a quick mist on your panties in between changing your pad or your tampon, um, under arms, under boob, before and after intimacy, before and after the gym, on the go while you're at work, and it's happy hour to meet your man for dinner after work. Like, it's a really good, and it's really light. It's more meant to neutralize odor versus adding any fragrance, so it's not gonna clash with anything, any fragrance that you're already wearing. Perfect. Now we know how to use it. Yes. What are you inspired though by? My own struggles and the struggles of other women that I know. We are not taught about our periods and our menstrual cycles as a whole and how our menstrual wellness, our period wellness is really an indicator of our overall wellness as women. And for so long, my period was just about relieving the symptoms and relieving the pain. And as I've gone on this journey with building her poppy and learned more about what my body is going through, I've been able to empower myself, um, empower other women. We're now more aware of what's happening in our body. We're able to be advocates for our own wellness overall. And really just feel good, actually feel good in your body and not have to dread. You're, we go through it every single day. And we shouldn't have to dread it. And we've been taught that. It's been ingrained in us in so many different ways. And I want it to be a different experience because it's a huge health nightmare. So that's here. Thank you very much. I, I do think it's a conversation that should be visited more often. And when you think about some of the woman-owned businesses that are out there right now, and just everything that we face as woman-owned businesses, what advice do you have? Look for a community. Um, tear up about this, but um, going into it, like I, I started this by myself, and it was very scary. I didn't know what I didn't know, and I had an idea to have an impact, but I didn't know anything about building a business. And as I started to move in that direction, 
and I truly believe this, the resources that you need, you'll be attracted to them. And to no credit of my own, you know, I've been able to meet other founders, other women founders who are growing in this space that I can lean on and learn from and look forward to each other. We encourage each other as well as give each other advice and answer strategic questions that we may have. Um, and that, if you are alone on this journey, that is the thing that can keep you going, is a community of other founders, women in your space, um, other people in your space in general to connect with. Fantastic advice. Find your tribe, ladies. And then speaking of finding, where can we find you and her copy? Yes. Um, our website is herpoppy.com. Our Instagram is at herpoppyco. Um, and my personal Instagram is she's Lauren G. All right. Not to be confused with Lauren G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Lauren, for coming thank to teach you. us all about her poppy. You can find her poppy where Lauren has sent you, and we look forward to speaking with you all soon. Thank you. As